knife needs a little help. <laughs> okay, I can I can make it cut like that. Okay, but right there is where it, it needs a little help. Now watch how much it changes. What I do is there's two corners, corner right there, corner right there. I touch the corner to the cutting edge on a 10 degree bevel up like this. And then just like this, go right on around. The other side has a little bevel on it, so match the bevel there. You've actually got it beveled all the way back. Probably did that with a grinder. And then just like this, I'm gonna go down through there like this, put the corner on the blade, slide it down through there, pick it up, move it back left, slide it forwards, go right down through there. Then bump, bump, bump on those, go on out like this. You've actually got the blade in pretty good shape, it just needs a little tune-up, just like that. So let's see if that little time, that's a huge difference. <laughs> Every time. That is a huge difference. Are you selling those? Uh, I sell sharpeners, yes. All okay. of the sharpeners are for sale. This one floats. That one, we made one so little, that's a little sharpener on the market. We made one so little that no matter where you go, you just take it right with you. The handle is different, but the way you use the carbide is the same. 90 degree corner, 90 degree corner, touch the 90 degree corner to the cutting edge on a 10 degree bevel up like this, and move the sharpener. So you can come out and work on the tip, come back here like this on the point of the blade, like this, that polishes it, and that's how you make even a hard old Kershaw cut like that. I make even knives this big, that sharp, that's right on the verge of sharp, like that. Or even your butcher knives. If you can take a, a big, thick, heavy butcher knife and make it cut like that, you know. Um, this is a little thicker blade than my Kershaw, but it's still extremely sharp. That's crazy sharp. So even your scissors, printers, hedge trimmers, brush trimmers, side dikes, tin snips, your pizza knives. I sharpen 50 different types of knives, blades, and tools. Let's get an actual pile of paper. If you can get through 20 layers of paper that easy, they're sharp. And all you got to do to sharpen, a little bubble on the back, tip it over a little bit, do this, and then flat like that, and then turn it over and do it again this way. Scissors never wear out, they just get dull. Okay, just like that. If I can take my fingernail off that easy, clear out here, it, it won't move until you take the fingernail off. So it's just so easy to sharpen everything my way. I sharpen pizza knives, I sharpen buck knives, I sharpen every kind of a hunting knife, you know, that you can find. Make them cut at least like that, clear out there. So any knife, any blade, any configuration, any hardness blade, they don't break well out, come apart, they're pocketable, lightweight, easy to carry. I sharpen 50 different types of knives, blades, and tools. So as far as like, is it the best sharpener on earth? I would say it is, just because of those things. You know, never breaks, wears out, comes apart, 50 different things, pocketable, lightweight, easy to carry. You know, this one floats, uh, this one. Okay, feel how light, you know, for backpacking, that's as light as you're gonna get for a sharpener. I like the rounded handle ones a little better than these because let's say I'm going to sharpen that radius, okay? Because it's round, I can roll it in my fingers. I capture it right here on that point so that it'll actually roll. Now, when I do this, I go out on that corner, come back on this corner, but in real speed. See, I don't even notice there's a radius on that knife. I don't have to deal with it, therefore it's not there. Just like that. It's so simple my way to sharpen knives. And then just like that, don't push too hard. Take that wire edge off the blade. You end up with a big old fat, thick, heavy butcher knife that thinks it's a razor blade with a big handle. That's sharp. That's really cool. Cool. Yeah, my videographer, he does, I've got, uh, what, 3,000 videos now on YouTube? At least. 